Another day, another story. Lost Golden City of Luxor, Egypt, 2021, archaeologists discovered a vast ancient city dating back to the reign of Amenhotep III, around 1391-1353 BCE, near Luxor. The city is well-preserved and provides valuable insights into daily life during that period. The Lost Golden City of Luxor, also known as the Rise of Aten, is an archaeological site in Egypt that was announced in April 2021. This ancient city was discovered by a team of Egyptian archaeologists led by Dr. Zahi Hawass. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. The city is located near the famous Valley of the Kings on the west bank of the Nile River, close to Luxor. The city dates back to the reign of Amenhotep III, who ruled Egypt around 1391-1353 BCE during the 18th dynasty of the New Kingdom. It is estimated that the city existed for a relatively short period, around 3,400 years ago. The archaeological site is exceptionally well-preserved, and the excavations have revealed streets, houses, and walls. The layout of the city is described as well-organized, with residential and administrative districts. The discovery is considered one of the most significant archaeological finds in recent years. It provides valuable insights into the daily life, architecture, and urban planning of ancient Egypt during the reign of Amenhotep III, who was known for his monumental construction projects. The site has yielded a wealth of artifacts, including pottery, rings, scarabs, colored pottery fragments, tools, and more. These findings contribute to a better understanding of the material culture of the time. The exact purpose of the city is still being studied, but experts believe it may have been used for various functions, including administrative and industrial activities. Homo naledi fossils, South Africa, 2015, in the Rising Star Cave system, researchers found a new species of hominin, Homo naledi. The discovery included more than 1,500 fossil elements, making it one of the richest hominin assemblages in African history. The fossils were found in the Rising Star Cave system near the Cradle of Humankind, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located northwest of Johannesburg, South Africa. The discovery was made by a team of scientists led by paleoanthropologist Lee R. Berger. The team included researchers from the University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg and international collaborators. The fossils belong to a previously unknown species of hominin named Homo naledi. The term Naledi means star in the Sesotho language, reflecting the cave system's name, Rising Star. The discovery included more than 1,500 fossil elements, making it one of the largest collections of hominin fossils ever found in Africa. The fossils represent at least 15 individuals, both adults and juveniles. Homo Naledi exhibits a mix of primitive and more modern human-like features. The small-brained hominins had a unique combination of characteristics, such as a small skull with a brain size similar to a chimpanzee, but their hands and feet show adaptations for both tree climbing and walking upright. One of the most intriguing aspects of the discovery is the location of the fossils deep within the cave system. The fact that the remains are found in a difficult-to-reach chamber has led researchers to propose the possibility of deliberate disposal of bodies, suggesting a form of ritualistic or intentional burial behavior. Pompeii Enchanted Garden Fresco, Italy, 2021, archaeologists uncovered a well-preserved fresco in Pompeii depicting a lush garden scene. The artwork provides a glimpse into the ancient Roman city's luxurious lifestyle. Pompeii is one of the most famous and important archaeological ruins in the world, and among the most visited cultural sites in Italy. This ancient Roman city just outside Naples was buried in ash and scorching rock from the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79, more on that below, and remained more or less unexplored for over 1,000 years. In the 18th century, official excavations began, and the site became a popular stop on the grand tour between Naples and Sorrento. Today millions of visitors walk the paved Roman streets and admire the colorful frescoes and intricate mosaics decorating many of the unearthed villas and public buildings. Juan Shaquito Las Lama Sacrifice Site, Peru, 2018, archaeologists found a mass child sacrifice site on the northern coast of Peru, 
dating back to around 1400 to 1450 CE. The discovery sheds light on ancient ritualistic practices. The Huanchaquito Las Llamas site in Peru gained international attention in 2018 due to the discovery of a large-scale mass child sacrifice dating back to ancient times. Here are key details about this archaeological find. The site is located on the northern coast of Peru, near the modern-day city of Trujillo. It is situated in the Huanchaco district. The discovery was announced in April 2018 by a team of archaeologists led by Gabriel Prieto of the National University of Trujillo and John Verano of Tulane University. The researchers had been excavating the site since 2011. The most significant aspect of the discovery was the presence of the remains of more than 140 children and 200 llamas. The children were between the ages of 5 and 14 at the time of their deaths. The sacrificial event is associated with the ancient Chamu civilization, which existed from around 900 to 1470 CE. The Chamu people were known for their sophisticated irrigation systems and urban centers. The mass sacrifice is believed to have been a ritual event with religious and symbolic significance. The children and lamas were likely offerings to the gods as part of a ceremonial event, possibly connected to climatic or environmental concerns. The children were killed in a ritualistic manner, with evidence suggesting that they were strangled and then buried in a ceremonial manner. The lamas, too, showed signs of ritualistic sacrifice. The bodies of the sacrificed individuals were remarkably well preserved due to the arid conditions of the region, providing valuable insights into the sacrificial practices of the Chamu civilization. The researchers conducted various scientific analyses, including stable isotope analysis, to gain insights into the diet and geographic origins of the sacrificed individuals. The findings contribute to our understanding of the socio-religious practices of ancient Andean cultures. Anglo-Saxon Cemetery at Great Ryber, United Kingdom, 2016, a rare Anglo-Saxon cemetery was discovered in Norfolk, England, containing numerous well-preserved artifacts and human remains, providing insights into early medieval burial practices. Anglo-Saxon England, roughly spanning from the 5th to the 11th century, was a period marked by significant cultural and historical developments. Archaeological excavations have unearthed numerous burial sites, settlements, and artifacts from this era. Great Ryber's mention suggests a potential archaeological find in that location during 2016. If there was a specific discovery in Great Ryber in 2016, details about it would be available in archaeological reports, publications, or news articles from that time. You may want to check with reputable archaeological sources, local historical societies, or news archives for the most up-to-date and accurate information on the Great Ryber Anglo-Saxon Cemetery discovery. For specific details on this discovery or other recent finds, consider consulting archaeological journals, reports from archaeological organizations, or news sources that cover historical and archaeological events in the United Kingdom. Denisovan Fossil, Tibet, 2019 a jawbone fragment and teeth belonging to a Denisovan, an ancient human relative, were found on the Tibetan plateau. This discovery expanded our understanding of Denisovan distribution. Denisovans are an ancient hominin group known from genetic studies and a few fossil fragments found in Denisova cave in Siberia, Russia. They are considered close relatives of both Neanderthals and modern humans. Denisovan DNA has been found in present-day human populations, particularly in Melanesians and some other populations in Southeast Asia. If there was a specific Denisovan fossil discovery in Tibet in 2019, I recommend checking with reputable scientific sources, archaeological publications, or news outlets for the latest information and details about the finding. Scientific journals and publications would provide more in-depth insights into the significance of any new Denisovan discoveries and their implications for our understanding of human evolution. Antikythera Shipwreck, Greece, ongoing, ongoing excavations at the Antikythera Shipwreck have revealed numerous ancient artifacts, including the famous Antikythera mechanism. This ancient device is considered the world's first analog computer, 
The shipwreck was initially discovered by Greek sponge divers in 1901. Among the artifacts recovered was the Antikythera mechanism, a complex device that is considered one of the earliest known analog computers. Excavations at the Antikythera shipwreck have been ongoing, with intermittent campaigns over the years. The site has provided a rich source of ancient artifacts, including marble and bronze statues, amphorae, glassware, and more. In recent years, there have been new scientific expeditions and underwater excavations at the site, utilizing advanced technologies such as remotely operated vehicles, rows, and three-dimensional mapping techniques. Ongoing research at the site has led to the discovery of additional artifacts and insights into the cargo and structure of the ancient ship. The artifacts contribute to our understanding of trade routes, commerce, and daily life in the ancient Mediterranean. While the Antikythera mechanism was discovered earlier, ongoing studies and analyses continue to reveal new details about its construction, function, and significance in ancient astronomy and technology. Chavin de Wanta Offerings, Peru, 2020, archaeologists uncovered a cache of well-preserved ceremonial offerings at the ancient site of Chavin de Wanta, offering insights into the religious practices of the Chavin culture. Chavin de Wanta is an ancient archaeological site located in the Andean highlands of Peru. It was a ceremonial and religious center associated with the Chavin culture, which thrived from around 900 BCE to 200 BCE. The site is known for its impressive architecture, including the Lanzan monolith, a carved stone depicting a deity. Archaeological excavations and research at Chavin de Wanta have uncovered various offerings and artifacts, shedding light on the religious practices and rituals of the ancient Chavin civilization. The Chavin people are recognized for their intricate art, architecture, and religious symbolism. Nazca Lines New Geoglyphs, Peru, 2019, researchers identified previously undiscovered geoglyphs near the famous Nazca Lines, further expanding the number and variety of these ancient drawings. The Nazca Lines are a series of ancient geoglyphs located in the Nazca Desert of southern Peru. Created by the Nazca culture between 500 BCE and 500 CE, these large-scale designs depict various animals, plants, and geometric shapes. The lines are best viewed from above and have been a subject of fascination and mystery for researchers and the public alike. If there were new geoglyph discoveries or research findings related to the Nazca lines in 2019, I recommend checking with reputable archaeological sources, research institutions, or news outlets for the latest information. Updates on archaeological discoveries, especially those related to iconic sites like the Nazca Lines, are often covered in news articles, scholarly publications, or announcements from relevant archaeological teams and institutions involved in the research. Qin Dynasty Mass Graves, China, 2016, archaeologists uncovered a series of mass graves in China dating back to the Qin Dynasty, 221-206 BCE. The graves contain the remains of laborers and soldiers who built the first Emperor Qin, Shi Huang's mausoleum. The Qin Dynasty, 221-206 BCE, was the first imperial dynasty of China, and it is known for the construction of the Great Wall and the famous terracotta army buried with the first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. If there were specific mass grave discoveries related to the Qin Dynasty in 2016, I recommend checking with reputable archaeological sources, research institutions, or news outlets for the latest information. Updates on archaeological discoveries, especially those related to significant historical periods, are often covered in news articles, scholarly publications, or announcements from relevant archaeological teams and institutions involved in the research. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.